Hi there and welcome to another episode of This Guy Edits where you get to see this guy edit. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the significance of sound in editing. Just to give a little recap, I'm doing a movie that just finished uh, principal photography and we are now well ahead in editing the film. And the main character, Mark, is spending his first night back at home. He was in prison for over five years. So the scene that I'm about to show you is his first night. I'm just going to show you what I've cut so far. It's a rough cut. Okay. Yeah. yeah I was having a bad dream. So as you can see, he had a little bit of a rough night and woke up saying to his brother that he had a bad dream. Now, this is a pretty straightforward scene and what I was thinking is, wouldn't it be nice to hear what is happening in his mind and get a little bit more insight on what he's going through? to, throughout the movie, use sound design to reflect his state of mind. As we are looking at him, we're hearing what's happening in his dream. I already have a sound effect that I'm about to use. You get the idea. I could just cut that straight in there, from here to here, and see what it sounds like. So that's one way to do it. That's obviously very much uh, on the nose. It's not very subtle. Um, you're hearing exactly what it is. Maybe at the beginning it's even confusing because I'm showing a shot of his little brother and I'm already hearing the sound. So instead of being this strong, I almost want it to be very, very subtle. And it should come in very quiet and in a way where we don't really know what's happening but something is subconsciously making us feel something. I'm going to move the sound over a little bit, right here. And I'm going to reduce the volume to a point where I can almost not hear it. Let's try that. I already like that a lot. I noticed that there's this one shot here where something is stirring him in his dream. Right there. I was thinking I'm going to make it just a little bit louder and maybe some, like a, a moment where somebody's screaming or something, somebody, I hear a clunk or something in jail that's going to stir him a little bit more. So I'm going to listen to the sound and see if something sparks my interest. Just something here. Let's see what this is. That's nice. So I have a significant sound here. And I'm going to find that spot again where Mark is stirring. Right there. So just a few frames before he stirs, I'm going to put that louder sound in, right there. Let me move that up. So let's listen to that. Okay, 
Okay, I think it works. It just needs to be not as loud. Again, I'm looking for subtlety. And maybe I'll just fade it up a little bit. Like I have this function here where I can fade the sound, sort of make it dissolve. And I'm just going to do like two frames. And then we're back to the same level here. So maybe I do a little bit of a fade here too. Still a little strong. I'm going to reduce the sound by a little bit more, like here. And now uh, let's play that back from the beginning and see how we feel about that. You okay? Yeah. I feel a little bit more inside the head of the character and um, I think it works. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I'll mute the tracks and then you can see the scene one more time without the sound. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to play it to you with the sound. <laughs> you okay? I hope you enjoyed this little tip of using sound design in editing and help enhancing the internal and emotional state of a character. See you on the next one.